Of course, the reason I'm in Lagos is the money. You know, this is the most likely place to make money in Nigeria and that is my driving force. So I'm like, oh yeah, I have a community here. And even if I did not, it would be easier for me to find one here than any other city in Nigeria at the moment. Precious moved to Lagos from Port Harcourt, a city with similar lifestyles, and it has been home away from home for her. For many people, Port Harcourt's notoriety and Lagos' chaos is a risk to their peace of mind. But Precious lives for the thrill. Working as a communications executive, she navigates Lagos with excitement. Um, and living in Port Harcourt, I would say, prepared me for life in Lagos because Port Harcourt may be a small town, but it's a really vibrant one from you know, a little danger, a little excitement. It's it's a fun place to live, um, and it's basically like Lagos. And this is my home. You know, this is where I made most of my friends and my best memories from secondary school to university, from the language, the people, to the culture. I miss the craziness. You know, it was really, really good growing up in Port Harcourt. So yeah, it's like a small Lagos, but just less wokeness um so because of that it wasn't hard for me to integrate to sync with the whole lagos culture except that there is a bit more elitism in lagos uh being as a mega city um with a host of varying people from different backgrounds and all of that so um what this journey has meant for me is that it's been a long learning curve um a lot of bad some good <laughs> a lot of dramatics but at the end of the day i guess i'll say i'm grateful basically i have to pull up all my survival instincts there's this thing about Lagos that pushes you to be your best or well craziest self it's mostly dangerous but in my case i would say it has impacted me somewhat as a 9 to 5 uh, I have to go to work four days a week and that means I'm constantly in traffic. After work, sometimes I have to go to the market because I'm a personal shopper and my services require that I'm at the market sometimes, you know, and these trips can't wait for the weekend. So that means at 5 p.m. I'm dashing out of the office and I'm going to Ted Joshua Market for instance and I have to get on a bike to do that. That's like the worst Lagos experience I have to endure because I it takes ignoring really touchy Yaba boys just to do what I need to do. I come home, I have, you know, sometimes I would have a freelance gig to attend to and I'm up at night trying to get that done. You know, then I sleep and the next morning I'm up again, struggle continues. Like I said, crazy. And I'm trying to find the balance amidst it all. In fact, right now I have taken a break of personal shopping. But this entire story gives me something to look forward to, something that I'm carving out my life to be in the future, you know, with the hopes that these years of doing bus, bag, cars, gigs, and all, all sorts prepare me for what I'm setting out to be. It's difficult, you know, aside being on the road a lot, adulthood means that you can say you want to call a person today and it's two weeks before you remember to pick up your phone. To balance this, I am a planner, a list maker if you may. So that means every day I write a to-do list and in that list I actually put in time to call my friends and my family. I also have this thing I do where every time I think about a person, I call them. It doesn't matter where I am. If someone crosses my mind, I reach out to them by texting or calling. Mostly texting, if I'm being honest, because I'm a big texter. I'm with WhatsApp. You can quickly engage a couple of people without having to do too much. As for hanging out, well, let's just say I haven't been doing that much lately 
but Sundays are usually my best days because um, there's not a lot of traffic so I try to fix my hangouts on Sundays but sometimes I actually go during the week after work when I don't have to be at the market so uh, when I do these um, trips I get home and I fall asleep so I can wake up early and you know keep up with my to do's Precious is hopeful for a big future in Lagos but today she walks into the sun and steps into her day. The hustle continues. 